Sister Veli. Really, God has an appointment for his people today. I want to speak uh, along the lines of obedience in serving God and in faith. When we read um, Genesis 22 from verse 1, obedience and faith is demonstrated very well when God spoke to Abraham and he said to him, give me your son. He says, your only son. That is faith and that is obedience. Ne? What we are talking about. Because when God says your only son, you will remember in verse 16, uh, Abraham gave birth to Ishmael. So Isaac was actually not the only son. But when God comes to him, he says, I want your only son. This is because, because God wants the best for himself. He doesn't want second best. We all know how Ishmael came. God is not asking for an Ishmael from you. God this morning is asking for an Isaac. When they were going to the mountain, Isaac says to his father, I see you have the wood and the fire, but where is the lamp? And Abraham, without knowing that God is going to provide a lamp, says to his son, God himself will provide. And indeed, that's what God did. Our problem is that we want to know the end before we get into the journey. But God is calling you. He says to you, give the best. Many doors have been opened before us, Vazalwani. Many prophets have been said before us. But we don't know that we are standing in front of, in front of an open door. All you have to do is to give that which God says he will, he will, he will provide for you. Is to give that which God says is the best and is asking that from you. You've been waiting. The devil is not on your way. The only person who's on your way is yourself. It's time to say, here I am, God. You give your life to God. You give God what he wants. And you begin to walk in faith. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, the word of God says that it is impossible to please God without faith. So you, want, you have to begin to walk in faith. Speak that which God has promised into your life. God has promised you millions. God has promised you nations. God has promised you businesses. God has promised you to expand your ministry. God has called some of us here to expand the ministry of worship. The ministry doesn't matter where God has called you. But that is not going to happen unless you begin to speak with faith. You begin to speak today as if you are there. You speak today as if you are that millionaire already. God wants to bless you. You need to take that stand. Thank you. Wow. So I have to obey. Take my only son. The very thing that I cherish the most. What a test. I also have a weight. Next one. I also have a weight today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 